Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm going to just show you a small haul that I got. Things I got yesterday. I'm sort of trying to remember what I did with everything. I don't think it's... Hang on. Here's a thing. Here's a thing. Right. Now this, this was still in its um, cover had the plastic still on it and I couldn't actually see what all of it was because I could only see a small portion of it which was this bit here I think one of these flowers anyway isn't this beautiful this is a pillowcase now I don't think I'm going to use it. well I'm going to use it as a pillowcase I'm not going to put some people get them and sew them with them and that but I love it and I'm going to put it on my bed Jeremy wash it for me and I'll put it on bed I'm going to go back and get the other one it'll still be there It'll still be there, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I bought one. I was thinking about maybe not, you know. But isn't that beautiful? Um, she charged me $2 for that. But that's all right, I can pay that. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I can fancy myself laying on that. I really can. <laughs> okay, so isn't that pretty? Anyway, so I've got that one. Okay, and i got this ball wool. I just put, tried to put it in here. 50 cents they charged me for that. Isn't that a good buy? Now it says here that you can make this pillow with it, but I'm going to need a little cardi, I think, out of this. I think I might be making a cardigan out of that or something. Okay, so I tried to stuff it in here, but it wouldn't go. So that was a good thing for 50 cents. Then I bought needles for 20 cents, which I am so wrapped with. There's only one missing, and I don't know how much, but it wasn't that. When I bought these, this cost me about, I don't know, five or six dollars. So I'm definitely going to wait till Ken and sister got more needles. Because these are good, good size hole in them and everything. It says um, 13, 3 to 9 is the size of them. And even the little tiny ones have got a really good size hole in them. So they're, they're a good thing, they, they are. They're just, they're just embroidery ones. They're not anything particular. But... Um, different brand from the others but it doesn't matter I don't think this is um, these I wanted because they were big the biggest ones that she had when I went to get them but um, so they only they cost me 20 I couldn't leave them there for 20 cents I just could not do that I also got some um, needle threads too for 20 cents but they're out in the other room I didn't bring them in now I bought this because I don't know if it's vintage or not but maybe Valida can tell me she might know Looks old to me. Maybe she can tell me what she thinks. Um, dollar. It's, um, some people like this sort of things. <laughs> Somebody might like that. Somebody I know might like that. We'll see. Okay, so then I bought this here. This cost me two dollars at Vinnie's. So Vinnie's is a pool. So that's the pattern, and this is the piece. Now I know that that would cost a lot more if you got that somewhere else. You know what? That'd make a good bag. All you got to do is sew around the sides. Well, not all you got to do, but you know, use this for front and back if you wanted to embroider it. If you wanted to embroider it, I don't know whether I'll do that or I'll gift it. I don't know yet what to do with that. Whether I'm going to be keen to do that or not. That was a good buy for two dollars. I don't have any material. I don't think I've got any material. Oh, yesterday. Did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's different. Okay. I just got a little bit more here. Not much more, but a bit. I didn't want to buy too much. I did I did do a bit of Christmas shopping. And that co that costs you money, doesn't it? So in this bag here, in this bag. <laughs> got some goodies in this bag. Now, it was a dollar for what was in this bag, except for this one here. You know? This one here, she charged me. I don't think she. I don't think she charged me. I think she threw it in the bag. This is pretty cool, isn't it? It's a Scottish lady doing a Highland fling, I suppose. Look at that, even little shoelaces. I don't know how somebody must. Somebody stitched this. Look at that. See, it's stitched by hand and it's stuck together. And I don't know how old it would be, but anyway, that's cool for. A, I wouldn't use it for a Christmas decoration. I don't think it's not um, what I'd use, but it's it's nice. It was in the Christmas parcels. 
Now, in this, this parcel cost me a dollar what's in here, and I'm absolutely wrapped except for this little shell. She's got no arm. Shouldn't call her that, should I? Should not call her that. I've got two of these little Cupid dolls. I think that's what they're called. Maybe they're not because these have got hair. I don't think Cupid dolls got any hair. Oh, here's an arm. Oh, oh I'm excited. No, that's a foot. <laughs> this is a foot. So I've got <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, I suppose. I suppose. There's some good socks. It's cute little shoes. These are a bit vintage, these are. And But it's, the head wasn't on it. The head wasn't on there. Okay. Then I've got these in the bag. These little faces. These cost 25 cents. Two and six. So that's, you can imagine how that old that is. And then I have two like this. Look, aren't they neat? It's it's they're nice vintage things, but and I don't know whether people like these sort of things these days or not. I think they might do. These are one one point nine, whatever that is. <laughs> and then there was this one. She's a bit more well. She's probably not modern because it'd be something like it would have been way back in the, in the day when I was only young. They had these ones, I think. I'm not, you're not too young, but she's got a good pair of shoes on. But um, I think they're really cool. I'm really pleased with them. I think I might use the face for something else. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> but I do like these little blokes, and they've got little bows on. But these are very, these are very old. These little fellas. It says on the back, made in Hong Kong. So they're probably not. Well, I'm not looking for value anyway doesn't bother me one way or another whether it's made but I believe I got a foot and <laughs> uh, where did what is was people thinking <laughs> maybe the people were packing it and they didn't realise what was. but she charged me a dollar and that's a really good place to shop is that is that um Anglican church place that's where I got these from a dollar for these faces and all that there for a dollar isn't that a good boy I like it I probably will gift it or something. I'll probably send some to gift out some of them or something. I don't know if anybody would really be that interested in them. We'll have to see. I might do something with um, with one of the little dolls that's got two arms. Or could do something with the one with one arm. The poor little thing. She needs some sort of attention, doesn't she? But anyway, so that was what I got. Because you never know what's out there, do you, for yourself. You don't know, for yourself and others. So um, I, I had a good, I had a fairly good shopping day. I bought some Christmas presents, so that was good. But you know what I'm doing? I'm putting myself under a bit of pressure because I'm I'm trying to buy four, four four things for each person that have different. They need to be something. Yeah, I told you just before, I, and I got ink on me. Sorry about that. They need to be. Let me what? Something to read, and something to do, and something you need. And something you want, so I wanted to do that. But I'm not going to buy all expensive ones. There might be a couple of little bit dearer ones in the in the parcel, but that's what I was going to do for each person. And that way, you know, you can get them things that, like a book, um, you know, which one book wouldn't suffice. But at least it's people want to buy these expensive things. They have to buy them themselves, you know. And you know what I mean? I can't afford to... I only need to do for nine people, I think, so... But they're still growing. <laughs> they're still growing, isn't it? So, um, today... What do you want to do with today? Let me see. I want you to drink a water for starts. I need a drink of water to start with. And I always do, do enjoy another thing, but a bit... A bit do I, want to, I might do some journaling making things with some of this. Might play in this for a minute. I'll have to move this out of the way then. I don't want to put stuff on that because I've been I did a bit in here this morning. I had a bit of fun. I know it, this is really actually quite stressful for me. <laughs> I call it fun. It's quite stressful for me doing this. I did that. What do you think about that page? That's not too bad, is it? Is it out as far as it goes? Yeah. Okay. And I've made this quite tall, which is not usually my 
thing and it seems it's really not I'm not really a fan of it you know so I wonder if I can cut a bit off the end of that there without doing too much to wrong to it it's just not going to take down much but it will take a bit off what do you reckon I can do that I've sewed this together as you can tell gee I hope I don't wreck this I've never used that big guillotine thing that I bought for really cheap never used it probably something that I'd probably need on a day like this when I'm trying to do mischief <laughs> I'd call this mischief if I you know really would say this was a bit of mischief I really want to cut that down there you got to go steady because some of it's really thick oh goodness sorry about that got it it's been really annoying me though because it's too long. I find it to be way too high. So let's do that again on this side, just for fun. Well, see, it's only out by a little way, but this is not straight either. So let's cut this off. <laughs> let's just so let's do some chopping out. Come on. Oh, I've got. <clears throat> okay. All right. Are you ready? Ready, set. Whoops, there we go, that's good, I like it. Get this one in here and do this one too. Chop it as well. I don't know if my husband needs me for something. I'm sure he'd be right. He might have thought I was knocking, I'm making this noise. Um, what have I got here that's wrong, something? No, I cut the both. If I do the top and the bottom, have I? Did the top and the bottom. Yeah. I just think I might do that bit again. Okay. All right. Those ones are coming over the edge. I don't know, does that matter? Not really. I feel better now about it for some reason. Just didn't feel the right shape, the right size. Kept on really bugging me this morning when I was doing it for some reason because I'm not used to having the this tall, I don't think. This one's seven and a, or seven and a half, so that feels better. That feels better. I don't think I mucked it up at all when I cut it. I don't think I messed anything up. Some nice pictures in here, isn't there? Some of them I might cover over a bit. Only because I'm not really... See, I'm not really keen on this little girl because she's there. Looks like she's not happy. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave it. Leave it alone. Okay. So, I haven't figured out what to do with on the, this first page, we'll probably put a pocket in there or something. Now I've done these ones and I'm not too disappointed with those. I didn't like them more. Right. Okay, so I want to put something around the outside of this here. no idea how long I've been doing this for. I didn't think at all about turning on that timing thing. What time does it say? Maybe at 10 past 11 that'll be enough, okay? Because it says it's um, 10 to. I think I need something on him. He needs a bit of something, something, doesn't he? A bit of life there. Maybe. Um, I don't know if you can have some sparkly stuff on him that doesn't seem, sort of seem right. Might leave that and stop and not fiddle with it at all today. Now we've got this page here to do. Okay. So on here we can do some bits. There's a, a sad looking sort of frog there. Now I have a heap of stuff to put on. I have a heap of things I put here earlier. Oh dear, 
Wait a minute, I'll move this out of the way. I need to make some sort of a pocket thing or something, don't we? We need a pocket of some sort. <coughs> Sorry about this. Oh dear, I tried not to drop them beads, but I think I did. Okay, now this is cool. These are really old though. I don't know if I could put them on there. They're really bad. They're really, really old they are. I do like these. I do like these too. These are nice. Maybe I could do some pockets with those. I'm not a big fan of the... Um, I'm going to cut a bit off them because they're too... too big just by a bit not that much and maybe I can sit that there maybe could fall down on top of me but you know <laughs> what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut them off there just take it back a tiny bit on the one side here straight please on you which is your straightest bit maybe there right -o. you can't see me I'm here though don't panic nobody panic I'm just here okay I picked these out we should just use them I might want it to be the right size this side here I'm gonna find things to put in them too in the pockets that's another issue that I have finding things to put in the pockets because I'm gonna have to make some some bits that's a nice one. It's a nice one, isn't it? I'll use that for something. I'll put it across the top of there. I'll use it to make something. That must be off the cover of one of the books. Isn't it pretty? They're pretty pictures. I'm thinking about putting that there after. I could use that to put under there, put on the pocket, give it some difference, I suppose, or not. Where's the thing to cut the to cut the bits? <laughs> what have I done with that? Here we are, corners, for corners, and for the hole in it, I've got a punch here, This is going to cut the top of the thingy, isn't it? That doesn't matter, does it? Oh no, he'll lose his symbol. It'll be alright, we won't worry too much about that. It's out of the fairy stories. I think I said these were nursery rhymes, but they're not. They're kids' storybook pictures. As you would probably have picked that up anyway by now. If you watch me channel something stuck in that. Okay, now we got it going. We got it going. There's nobody panic. I think I do have to um put something around the edge of this, what do you reckon? Okay. That's cool. I like that. 
Um, yeah, what do I do? You, you can just barely, you can just see that that's there because of the background. I think it's okay having the white background because we're going to put stuff in the pockets. Do you need something around the edges of this? Probably do. Um, a dot. <laughs> a dot. A spot. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, if you can just see what I've got. <laughs> There's a storm outside threatening us. If we have an earthquake, so just in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to stub everywhere. And it doesn't worry me though. It's starting to though, because it's starting to get um, really annoying because it's all in my road. So I'm putting on a bit of this. I think I bought these at Spotlight, these little things. And they weren't very expensive either. I got a bit, because they were on special. Yes, I got a set of all different colours. That's yeah, pretty cool. Lots of different colours. It's like a um It's like that other stuff. <laughs> Can't remember the name, what's it called? Liquid pearls. Some of these aren't as dominant as others, but it doesn't matter. Prominent, I should say. Words coming out wrong. It just gives it a little bit of something, doesn't it? Because I think it needs it. I would have put that down first, wouldn't I? Why didn't I do that? I should have put that on there first. So let's put glue on it first. Sorry about the grunting noises I'm making. I don't mean to be doing that. and It's just... Um, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> today, weird, because I had a really good sleep actually. I think I might have actually done about four hours without having to get up. That was different. And that skirted all over the place. Never mind. I'll try to get the other one on. I might go around the edge of this and actually um, put more of the green in different places because some of it's not. I should have did this first, shouldn't I? So I've got glue under these bits. I hope I've got glue under these bits. Yeah, it's coming out from under the edge. That's interesting. None up the top. There shouldn't be. So I don't want to be any up there anyway. Do ya? Oh. Goodness. <laughs> Ah oh dear. I didn't know for definite if my daughter was going to be here Friday or Sunday, but she told me last night she's going to be here Friday. <laughs> Before lunch, she said, "If if Bubby behaves, I'm sure Bubby will be good. <laughs> if she, I'm sure she'll be good. <laughs> so <laughs> she'll be five weeks old then. That time's gone pretty quick, really. Probably not for for Ellie because she had to have the operation, but you know, it's just gone really fast because she hadn't been able to drive. You know, because that's." Dangerous, you have to be cleared by the doctor to drive. I don't think she's going to be driving though, but I think she still wanted to have the... to be well enough to travel to, you know. It'll not be easy at all. I never had to have a cesarean. I, my, my girls were just really good. They were just born... Oh, well, I say really good, of <laughs> course. Born right, born 
um, without having the cesarean. So I was lucky because, you know, once you've had the baby, you've, you might have been through the pain, but you still got the, you still feel okay afterwards, well reasonable. Um, but if you have to have the operation, you sort of it takes your body a while to get back to itself. It would, and she wouldn't be right yet. Yet I don't think. I don't know. I've had my appendix out. And I, that was a long time ago, but I don't know how how um long it took all to fix me after that. Now I've got a bit of stuff on there, but I'm going to do something with that. I think. Jeez, I made a bit of a pig zero that, did I? It's not too bad though. I've seen. I think I've seen. I've <laughs> done worse. I've done worse. <laughs> I don't know why I say. I got that off there. I'm excited. Now this one here. Big lump. Okay. Yeah, you can just sort of clean it off if you need to. It's okay. So now I'm going to do something to cover up a couple of bits of this dirty messes on here. I don't know, they're from the... papers that I made it out I think like because they come out of a book but I did want to use a you know some vintage sort of stuff after this dries I'll put the, the glue underneath there and fix it and that's going to take a while that is going to take a minute this here needs to have something I'll put a butterfly on that might be too big this one uh, might be too big a butterfly. If I need something up across the top of there, uh, put something over this way. What are we doing? Wait for that to dry a bit. I want to put something on there so you could write on there, or a fold-out thingy, like maybe a. Maybe another page or something. I might cut this. Sit that up there. I hope it doesn't close. Um, Put these peaches out and put them in there. Oops. Uh, that's okay. Isn't it? <laughs> I think so. Must be just a day for me to feel off today because I don't feel really bright and shiny. And it's mad at me. There's hardly any people up the street yesterday, that was because of the Melbourne Cup. Everybody must have went out for dinner and lunch, that's the cup, cup lunchings and things like that. I, for, for many, many, many years, had Melbourne Cup Day with my mother nearly every year. And um, when she passed away over ten years ago, I, I haven't had a Melbourne Cup Day since, I don't think. I will with better a little bit, but not... You know, a couple of dollars or do a sweep or something, but I'm not, we're not big, we're not gamblers. Oh well. Most people who don't even gamble ever go on the Melbourne Cup. Jeremy picked out some, he didn't put a bet on, cause, but then he was lucky because he didn't, I don't think he picked anything good. Nothing that won, I don't think, he said. I'm afraid I think of better things to do with my money. I probably bought myself some supplies, you know, I used to I was shopping. <laughs> and it's my what I'd rather do. Whereas you can see it nicely or something. I 
I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I hope if you're new to my channel, you can take that as what I'm doing all the time that I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Sometimes I have an idea and it might not come to me till I've nearly, you know, makes it all sorted. But then I do get the idea sometimes. Something to do. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Am I? No? Yes? No. Oh, that didn't make sense, did it? This is definitely journaling for, for beginnings, even though I have been doing this for many years. Well, I've been doing it for a few years, and I've, I've always managed to um, get by somehow. <laughs> <laughs> with it. <laughs> Always managed to get by somehow and um, make something. This is cool. I've got an idea now. Have a look at this. This is going to go on here. It is. Pretend it's on that big bush, you know, that little vine. There. It's actually a blackberry or strawberry, some berry, berry tree. I'm going to put these big things on there just for fun, because <laughs> I want to. Whoops. Oh, dear. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to cover that up with them words. Okay. Okay. Whoops. It's going to be covered over, aren't you? Be using the paper instead of my hands because I've got stuff on my hands. Glue. The stuff is being is glue. And okay, now I'm going to cut the corners off this. I'm not going to take the white bit off because you can do it right on that. It's not white, but it's creamish. Sort of. I'll cut these bits off even though they're going to be covered over in a minute, I think. I have to cut that little bit off there. Excuse me. You know, you don't realise sometimes when you're doing videos that you might do that. You might have sniffed or something until you go to look at it later and you think, oh dear, what have I done? <laughs> you know, you think, oh dear, what have I done now? That looks all right, and that can flip up. And under there, we have we're gonna have somewhere to write, I think, on here. So I'm gonna stick this down. Not got any idea what I'm gonna do on the other side. It'll come to me. This is all does, it just works away as you go. It does for some reason. That's how me making a plan is not a thing. Okay, I'm not into planning much. <laughs> really planned. I might even have to cut a bit off that because that could be flapping around. That could be flapping around and that could be doing some damage. I'm going to try to open it and close it and I'm going to have to do it with this cutter thing because I want it to be straight and I don't know how I'm going to get on here. Righto. Right. Sorry, people. <laughs> uh, Sonia. I need a big pair of scissors for this because they're not gonna they're not gonna cut it. Mm. I only want to go over a bit. Let's just draw a line. Let's not muck it up. We get this far, we should keep going and not muck it up. And we want it to be straight, so we'll put it on there. On the line, straight line. I cut that up there.
Right oh, let me see what have we got to put there. Love this fella. I think he should be playing music to the. Is that the page? And go over it. I wanted to cover up those little critters there because they're not really in this story as much as what. Okay, I think he looked good like that. Maybe. And the frog can be watching him. He can, he can get it on him. I've, this one's out of a really old book. A lot of them are out of really old books. This one was, um, what do you call it? <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's, a, it's, it's really good. <laughs> it's a song. It's a song. And it's, these critters have got the, a plan music. I don't want to muck this up, please. Don't muck it up, Sonia. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I've been doing this all the time instead of just sticking it down and wiping it. I've been doing that all the time, shouldn't I? These are going in here, aren't they gorgeous? They're out of one of them really old books too. Um, one person's actual books was in the um, was gifted to the Ken Assist place ages ago when they were still up at the showground, and I um, I got them because I really wanted to to save them. And I might put these in the front, actually. I just I wanted to save them so, that, you know, they could be... We need something to draw right on, don't we? We need some writing space. I like that. Dry properly, and to whoever, if anybody does happen to buy this, if I do sell it, this will always stick, and that's no matter what, it will always stick, even when it's dry, it still sticks to the next page, and it comes off real easy, though. So, there's no need to panic, you know, it just comes straight off of there. So, that's a good thing. Also, whatever I put here will cover that as well. Piece of paper for. Right now, what's under there? Another frog. I don't know if we need all them frogs, we can cover them up. The frogs, we can use this for a tuck spot, I suppose. This, this one will be a bit big. Uh. Okay, so I've got a heap of stuff over there, too. I might have to go now. I don't know how long I've been on here. 
I didn't show you too much today, did I? Well, we did this. Oh no, I had I'd already done that, hadn't I? I only done those bits. But that's all right. I need to put something on here to cover this bit up. Hang on. Oh, I love this one. Well, this is one of my favourites. I love this picture. I really, really do. I'm going to put it on here because I really like that picture. Or here, don't care which way ever it will go. It will be a good tuck spot. Belly band, maybe. Might just add a few things to it, but not much because I want it. Don't want to take away the nice bird pictures. Don't want to take away from the pictures. I might, oh, sorry about that. I might do the large ones, I think. Cut it out in the large part. Redo it. That's not covering. If I put it there, it's only going to cover over the. Um, well, it doesn't matter. It's not all covered up, does it? I should probably leave a couple of blank, blank pages. And this bit here's going to have something joined onto it. Just because it does. These got birds on the back. Anyway, I might have to come back and look at that later. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I think this is very nice. I like it. It's going to have all these old bits in it, like these vintage pieces out of the kids' books and things. Maybe I'll add the odd thing, like, you know, this fairy. I think I've got a fairy here somewhere. There's a fairy. And a stamp. But these were out of the kids' storybooks. So was that one. A bit of washi tape. Is that something I could put over here? Anyway, I better go now and I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye bye.